Well, it will actually hurt me. Haha! <laughs> Hello again, Skunk Monkey here, and today it's time for a data pack showcase. And I'm not going to show you just one, but two data packs. And uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I was recently talking to some people, actually in a live stream, about 1.14 and things that should have been added. And both of these popped up in Planet Minecraft's data packs. And I'm like, I've got to show them off because these are things that should have been added in 1.14, but weren't. And they are the Blast Furnace Extended by Velcon and Stonecutter Damage by Fiery Hammer. And these are both things that I said, you know, these should have been in there, but they weren't. So we're gonna get started with the Blast Furnace Extended. And the idea is that there's, the, the, the Blast Furnace is so limited in what it can do. It can only do ores. So they added some recipes for cooking other things, which, you know, they really make sense to be cooked in a blast furnace. So you got all the different logs can be cooked into charcoal, clay into bricks, uh, clay into terracotta, cobblestone into stone, netherrack into nether brick, quartz into smooth quartz, the two types of sand into glass, the two types of sandstone into smooth sandstone, uh, the regular stone into smooth stone, the stone brick into cracked stone brick all the different types of terracotta into the glazed variety and then the wet sponge into dry sponges and it makes sense that a blast furnace you would have these capabilities so they added them and while they're at it they added these four to uh, the smoker which i get the the popped chorus fruit and yeah the pickle kind of makes sense and the cactus kind of makes sense but they went with this so you can do it in either one so i don't know that was an interesting decision but just for these alone and especially the ones that you're like um you should be able to cook glass in a blast furnace that makes sense Th these make sense these make sense so yeah that's the blast furnace extended then the stone cutter, look at it. It is a blade on top of a block. Why, why, if I go into survival, well, it will actually hurt me. Ha <laughs> ha! That would make sense, right? It's a blade, a spinning blade that should hurt you. But not only does it hurt you, but it will also hurt mobs. In this case, animals. <gasps> the dreaded creeper. Yeah, just just die, creeper. Creeper scum. And oh ugly little cave spiders. Oh yeah, die. And the great thing is, since this is a half block, <gasps> you can put a hopper underneath of it. And it'll suck it right in. Haha! -ha! So, what can the this be used for? Well, Obviously, it can be perimeter defense, but it also can be used in mob, mob farms. It can be used in animal farms. It can be used in so many different applications, and it just makes sense. I don't understand why. I mean, this this should have happened that you get damaged. I mean, it just makes sense. So, that is the Stonecutter Damage mod and also the Blast Furnace Extended Data Pack. Uh, this is a data pack, not a mod. And I highly recommend these things. They, they feel right. They just feel right in 1.14. So go out there, try them, download them. As always, the link to the Planet Minecraft page for each one of these will be in the description. I encourage you, download them, try them out. And I, I, if you don't like some of these, just go into the folder and delete the recipes that you don't like. But at least keep the ones that completely make sense. And if you guys liked the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing. Turn on notifications. I put out a data pack showcase every single week to show you guys the cool and awesome things that the rest of you are making. So I hope to see you guys in the next data pack showcase video. Until next time. <laughs>